In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a quick and easy deep work dashboard inside Notion. This is a great dashboard if you're a student, a solopreneur, or just someone looking for a simple task management system. Okay guys, so we're gonna start out with a blank Notion page like this. I'm gonna give it a title real quick, call it deep work dashboard. From there, I'm gonna add a quick icon. I'm gonna choose the hourglass. I am also going to add a cover real quick. I found this really cool cover on Pinterest that I liked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. Then go back to Notion, click add cover, change cover, upload, upload file. Then I find the GIF that I just downloaded. And yes, I say GIF. Don't come at me, reposition, put it where I like, save position, sweet. Okay, then from there, I'm going to actually go into the page to build the dashboard. And I'm gonna hit backslash, embed. I'm gonna come over to this link that will be in the description, it's for this timer widget that you can download for free. I'll leave a link down below. And I've already set it for two hours. That's how long that I like to do my deep work session for. And this is also based off of Pat Walls from Starter Stories deep work session. So two hours is gonna be what I set the timer for. If you wanna change it, you can edit the amount of time within it here, but two hours is good for me. So I'm gonna hit this embed button. Command A, Command C, copy the code, go back to my dashboard. I'm gonna paste that embed link. Bam, timer's in, okay? Below that, I'm just gonna click backslash. Then I'm going to add two callout boxes. Now, the reason I'm adding callout boxes is because they're the easiest way that I know of for how to quickly create like two columns in a Notion doc. If you have a better way, like please feel free to let me know in the comments, okay? Underneath that uh, callout box, I'm just going to quickly add a database that's backslash database inline. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm going to quickly delete that tags property. I'm gonna name it deep work tasks and then i am also going to add a new property status i'm going to delete the in progress status because a deep work uh, task is really just meant to be like an in progress or strike that it's just meant to be like a not completed and a completed task it's not supposed to be like an in-between kind of situation you're just supposed to kind of check them off one by one as you go down your list for the session. So I'm gonna delete that in progress one. Then we're gonna go back to the database. I'm gonna change the view to board view. I'm gonna call it tasks, change the icon right here to a checkbox. I'm going to delete that other view and I'm gonna hide the database title. I'm gonna drop that in right underneath the call out box and then I'm going to delete that call out box real quick. And we're mostly there guys. We're like pretty much pretty much there already. Uh, now for the right side of the dashboard, I like to have a Spotify playlist while I'm doing my deep work session. So I am going to hit slash embed and I'm gonna click audio, go to embed link. Then you can go to you know your favorite playlist. For me, I'm gonna choose this peaceful piano playlist on Spotify. To get the embed link, you're just gonna hit the three dots, share, embed playlist, copy. You can change the color if you want. I like it. I like this peaceful piano playlist. Makes me feel good while I'm getting work done. Go back over to Notion, and then you're just going to paste that link, embed audio, delete the callout box, drag that over. And there you go, guys. That is the quick and easy way to build a deep work dashboard inside of Notion. 
Now you can hit your start button when you're ready to start your session. You can work on your tasks and as you complete them, you can move them into the done column. You can also, you know, change the size of these two different columns in Notion if you want, collapse the sidebar, make it a little easier to view, but that's it. And there you have it guys, a simple dashboard inside Notion. If you want to download the template, that'll be in the description below. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.